Well, hello, Westsiders. So today I got something special for you guys. With all the crazy Dewalt things I've seen on the internet, I decided why not make a Dewalt powered drone? So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Okay, so this idea kind of came about when I was browsing Amazon and I found this little thing. It is a battery adapter for Dewalt batteries and it just has some battery leads come out of it. So my brain thought, why don't we just solder this to a ESC, strap this to a drone. We got a Dewalt powered drone, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah. So I could just strap this to an existing drone, but that would kind of be boring. So I went on the internet and I found some yellow Pet G. At least I think it's Pet G, it might be PLA. Hopefully that matches this pretty good. I just kind of want to design a drone that has that Dewalt aesthetic. I'm still kind of contemplating whether we use an existing carbon frame or we design something and cut it on. CNC machine. Yeah, it would be a lot easier just to use an existing frame, but you know what? I think that would be boring. So for you guys, we're gonna design a brand new frame. Try to match the Dewalt aesthetic. Okay, let's jump in Fusion. Okay, we're gonna make this a seven inch drone. So these are seven inch arms. Here's the little battery adapter. I added this up just so I have reference. Uh, drag it on the frame just so I know how it's gonna look. It kind of it's gonna sit in the center. Uh, anyways, I'm designing the bottom plate. Here is a few holes for the mounting for the flight controller and ESC. Here I dragged a picture of a Dewalt tool on just so I can kind of grab some of their curves. Uh, doing the top plate now. All right, there we go. All done. The Dewalt drone. Okay, now we are going to prep the CAD files for cutting in the CNC machine. Made a little hollow out in the arm just to save a little bit of weight. All right, the CAD file's prepped. Now we gotta prep the material. Uh, pull out the old material and put in the new stock so we can cut our arms. We're gonna start with cutting the arms of this frame. Just making sure that all the limits are set properly and it's uh, at the correct height. We don't want any crashes. And start. Okay, success. Now let's do this three more times. A couple hours later, I got all the parts cut and finished. Now it's to start assembling the frame. First, let's put some press nuts in. These are gonna hold the arms. Then we have our standoffs. We install the battery tray for the Dewalt battery. I made a hole in the carbon so I can run the battery leads through. Get all the arms all tightened up. There we go. All the arms are on. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be pretty neat. All right, now we're going to print out some prints out of the yellow Pet G that I bought. For the motors, we're using 28 of 7 and a half Hyper Light motors. I've got some yellow spray paint. We're going to spray paint the motors. First we're going to spray them with some gray primer, then we'll hit them with the yellow. Then we're going to solder up the motors to the ESCs. For video system we're using a Cadex Vista and Nebula Pro camera. 
for RX, we're using Crossfire Nano. This is an old beat up flight controller, but it works just fine, so I'm giving it uh, another chance at life in this B-Vault drone. We're gonna re-tin all these solder joints just because they're pretty ugly and never hurts to have nice clean solder joints. It just makes everything that much cleaner and easier to when you're wiring things up. You know there's no issues. Let's mount the Vista in there and then let's just finish mounting all the wires. Okay, it's all done you guys. I did have it plugged in just to configure, but this is the first time we're gonna plug it in and fly it. So, wish me luck. Hope it doesn't blow up. You ready? Let's try this out. Holy shit. That works way better than I thought it was gonna. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Uh, when I first thought about this idea, I didn't fully expect it to work. But this totally works. <laughs> I'm kind of excited right now. I'm going to charge up a few of these Dewalt batteries and let's go test this thing out. Coming soon from Dewalt. Are you a YouTuber or something? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, for what should you I'll, sub I'll subscribe to you right now. Are you famous? <laughs> no. How many subs? What do you guys think of this? So I designed and uh, built the Dewalt drone. That's the that's the gun for like tools. Exactly. Wait, what? That's the. <laughs> that's a drone. Yeah. He built it. I design and I design and build drones too. Can you but. do it real quick? Like yeah. start it? Yeah. Oh, there's no way. Yo, let me get your initial reaction to this. Slide that in the bottom. Get the f out. Yeah, slide Are that in the bottom. Are you serious? Get the f out. No way. Yeah, yeah, I gotta test it today, but it's all good to go. No way. How did you fly? I don't know. We'll find out. That's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> you just tagging this on DeWalt's page? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Is it an RC plane? No, this is the, the D Wall drone. Oh, that's the drill drone? Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Hella battery sag, but... What does it drop down to? Like 16. So, this is so sick. I can't believe there's a drill battery. I wonder uh, what your flight on that chicken be. Nice. 
sick. There you go, you can build your own. I'm uploading all the files, so have fun. Catch you later. West side, out. Thanks again for watching, and thanks D-Wall for making awesome tools and awesome batteries, because these things definitely performed better than I thought they were gonna. If you like this video, please subscribe. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you. I got a long list of video ideas, so stay tuned.